what is channeling what is mediumship okay uh channeling is basically a process uh it's an intuitive process first let me tell you it's an intuitive process in this intuitive process you connect you connect with the metaphysical the spiritual world the spirit world and uh, so there is a way of connecting with the spiritual world and why do we do it basically to receive guided messages guided messages for us guided messages for our future those kind of uh, things which are helpful or you know you you know somewhere that you are divinely protected so uh, that is so you become a medium yourself that's why channeling and mediumship so there are a lot of mediums you can use there is this uja board that you can use to channel there is uh, you know the vika method to use <clears throat> here you become a channel that means you are a medium you are using your own brain your own mind as a medium to channel information from the other side so you are the medium to channelize messages from the other side that's why channeling and mediumship right and there's normally a certain amount of fear around the fact uh, dr gitanjali that me i'm a, i'm a medium the spirit is going to enter me and and talk through me with you know garbled boy as we've normally seen in um, you know a couple of movies maybe a classic example being ghost the patrick swayze movie so is that true is that what no, happened no 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 it, it this is very true okay. the, the, this is very no you, the patrick swayze movie was very good now listen she the ghost did not enter maybe it entered her one on one so twice because she gave the information but she could hear voices right that is what is channeling all about you hear so either you get those get those thoughts that you are able to channel or you are able to channel uh, through this way but we don't allow spirits to enter you cannot allow the spirit to enter your body it is like you cannot give space so we don't teach those kind of channeling uh, that was little bit exaggerated the spirit is entering and going out and all that and suddenly become but if you see there's a scene in the bank this guy is standing next to her and saying the numbers constantly telling her correct correct he he, he didn't enter her right right and of course that uh, but i digress i mean it's patrick swayze very easy to digress i will not coming back focusing right here mm-hmm. and so if i understand this correctly channeling is an intuitive process mediumship is being a medium is being the pipe is being the conduit for that channeling to happen yeah. and no nothing nobody is entering anywhere it is a Nobody's. channeled message that yes. is yes yes right all right and so as you said dr tanjali we want channeled messages from higher spirits or from loved ones how exactly is that helping us how is it contributing to our today to what might happen tomorrow okay so um you know people come to us in a state of anxiety they come to us when things are not working and they want that reassurance so when you channel a message you're bringing a lot of peace and hope to the person like they come with all sort of questions so sometimes of course there is some bad news also to be conveyed to them but it's i always say ki at least you know what to expect rather than not knowing if you know what to expect then you can maybe control the outcome or your intention or your work today itself so for example if i know that um, like you know this 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 just a download coming in and uh, you feel you have to do something or there is certain issue at some point of time in your life and you want guidance and sometimes what happens now even though you are into tarot you are into angel cards and a lot of other things but still you don't receive the guidance so so what what we can also teach in this process is you know your higher self right we teach communicating with your higher self now who is your higher self i'm using a new word here who is your higher self it's your higher self is a metaphysical representation okay so you are the physical embodiment of the higher self right he ha- he wants certain experiences because of that he has put you as a physical representation on earth so if you want to channelize something is not happening right in your life you want to channelize your higher self and say why it's happening so you are getting message directly from somebody who's 
very connected to you and that messages are you know uh so important like so many times i just look up and i say you know help me you don't need a process for that you know you are connected because you have done it so many times it is almost like you know you know i you are there for me or <clears throat> i am the physical representation so i need help at this time right so that connection becomes stronger and if your connection with your higher self through channeling and mediumship becomes stronger things start happening more in your life so it's not just about you know me getting messages for somebody it's about me my connection with my higher self with my spiritual guide who can guide me who can help me to process see <clears throat> tarot can just guide me but he cannot shift my life so here your connection becomes very very strong with your higher self and that's very very important <clears throat> 